Hello everybody, what's up? This is Martin Mavex Forever and welcome to another episode of Let's Make APID Loop. So first thing first, I gotta appreciate that uh, Mr. Pierman for all the help. Uh, I really, really appreciate that and what you did is very important for my passion and I, I just don't know how to say thank you. Just really, really thank you Mr. Pierman uh, for all the help you gave me. And um, today we are because I just uh, set up my robot C and uh, we are actually going to be switching from notepad to robot C to do our robotics program which makes sense huh <laughs> doesn't it <laughs> all right <laughs> so uh, today this is the orange uh, so this is original code that was from last episode and uh, today uh, we are going to do some debugging and with robot C I am going to hopefully this is just a de uh, this is basically a debugging episode I'm just going to run through the mistakes I made hopefully explain it uh, to you a little bit and um, yeah, basically correcting the mistakes I accumulated from the last 10 episodes, which is really not that bad. All right, let's get started. So first uh, first off, we see a bunch of error message right here. And that is just because I did a little crappy graphics right here to show you something about, uh, I don't know, integral and stuff. And uh, I forgot to type the comments in front of it. So if you type comments in front of it, all the fatal errors will go away. And that is not bad. That's just there we go and uh, next we have some warnings which means we have some typos and uh, this is one of the warnings the clear timer should be the the uh, shouldn't be capitalized the C shouldn't be capitalized sometimes things should be capitalized and some sometimes things shouldn't be like right now I still don't remember whether sensor values should be capitalized or not uh, but eh. And that's just some things I do. I always forget about stuff. And uh, right here is another typo. In if statements, always remember to have double equal sign because that is a statement, whether it's true or false, rather than assigning a sign. And robot C is very nice. If you actually make this typo and you don't correct it, robot C is going to automatically correct it for you in, in this compiler. But let's just correct it right here. And this is gone. And we have another error. Where is it? Oh, it's another clear timer. That's it. That's that's actually not bad. It's only like four typos from like ten episodes of uh, programming, and I'm kind of I'm kind of surprised, and I'm really proud of myself. All right, let's control save. Uh, starting from this episode, I am going to save the uh, program every time. Uh, I finish the episode, and then I'm going to hopefully yeah, I, th I think I'm gonna upload it to, to a GitHub, and uh, you can directly access it from below the video, which is going to be very helpful, and. Uh, Excuse me. There we go. Uh, about that. So a little thing about myself, and I intend uh, I intended this to be a very short video, and uh, because it's just a debugging, because it just got robots and got excited. Uh, a little thing about myself. Uh, my parents were so awesome. They just bought me this brand new 17.3 inch uh, Dell Inspiron. Uh, like the, uh, I'm the day before yesterday and it's working super smooth with windows 8.1 and everything just awesome i just basically set everything up and uh, just downloaded the uh new uh, uh, new windows 8 version of screencast on matic and uh that is just so purely awesome and um yep basically that's it and uh from now on because i have all these devices and uh uh the laptop in my room i am going to uh, i'm going to be um doing uh videos on a uh, probably on a daily basis uh, just a, a lot more a lot easier when i'm doing videos and uh i mean a lot frequent uh, a lot more frequent uh f that is uh what's happening on my behalf and uh let's see how in the future uh let's see uh what i want to do i want to talk about what i want to do in the future about this playlist uh basically this is the concept of uh, what you just, what you've just seen in a few previous episodes about this, this entire thing, it is a concept or a basic structure or a basic VEX, uh, controller. Uh, I mean, a VEX based PID controller. And, uh, and, uh, as long as you understand it, maybe I don't even need to show you any, uh, I mean, any other things for you to start drumming in and applying your own things uh, but still um, I think that uh, you should uh, understand more see more about what what's trick you can do 
So in the future, I think in the next few videos, I uh, will expand a little bit of the functionality of this. For instance, right now it's just going forward and backwards. And of course, in Vex Robotics, you always need to uh, turn or swing turn. Uh, point turn or swing turn. So I'm going to do a very just simple a few videos about how to, I mean how you turn and um, just directly uh, changing this loop a little bit and then you have a turn function. However, uh, for turn function you do I do think that you need a different constant so that uh, well I I mean it just performs better and uh, for constants I still personally I didn't have a lot of experience with precisely tuning constants because I was always programming on the fly in the Skyrise season because we always don't have enough time. I was like, oh, if KP 0.2, if that creates some oscillation, let's just deal with it. Let's, let's not worry about whether it's 0 0.19 is better or 0 0.21 is better. So um, I really didn't tune constants very precisely and I didn't have much experience with it. And right now I don't have a lot of device, but I do know some of the theories about ZI tuning and I can show you some of the math that will help you better understand uh, the uh, PID controller um, which will also help with the tuning so I am going to do some of the uh, some more advanced tricks on this thing I am going to do some more uh, more advanced tricks and uh, some more uh, tuning videos hopefully and some math explanation videos and that's just basically all I think of and for derivative maybe I'm going to do another video further explain derivative uh, probably and uh, because derivative it, it took me a long time for me to get on my own and uh, it's, it's not as straightforward as proportion integral like what I said before so that's basically it that's I, I didn't intend to type any more codes in this video it's just like a recap thing and um, it's, it's like a, a debugging recap thing and uh, I'm really surprised I didn't make that much I mean that many tables when usually when I type in notepad and then go back to robot C in my school it was like oh my god it's, it's bad everywhere where it's, it's red cross everywhere all right so um at the end i really really appreciate your support i have 20 subscribers right now and uh, if i check probably is is i have more than 20 subscribers at by this point and uh, i know you guys have been watching my videos and i really hope that you learn something um not necessarily about p uh, i mean pid and stuff just even something about robot c or tuning and uh, if you just learn something or you just find listening to me talking and uh, typing slowly very enjoyable, then thank you very much for supporting and subscribing and everything. All right. Um, so that's it. Uh, thank you, everybody. And um, this is Martin Mubex Forever, and I will see you in the next video.